There's still a lot of people who only know of Turkish delight as the powdery white sweet used by the white witch to entice Edmund in the Chronicles of Narnia. However, the confection has a long history and is one of Turkey's most popular exports. We went back to the year 1777 to explore the story of lokum, a very, very sweet dessert. One of the oldest sweets in the world, going back almost 500 years, the Turkish delight recipe has remained almost unchanged since the day of its inception. As the story goes, the Sultan, trying to cope with all his mistresses, summoned his confectionery chefs and demanded the production of a unique dessert. It was through this summon that the Turkish delight was born. The fully apprenticed confectioner, Bakira Fonda, arrived in Istanbul from a small town in eastern Anatolia in 1777, during the reign of Sultan Abdul Hamid I. Another theory states that it was actually Bakir Afanda who invented Turkish delight and went on to open a little shop in the city center. Quickly winning fame and fortune amongst a people with quite the sweet tooth, Turkish delight became a fashionable gift, wrapped in special, lace handkerchiefs. As the dessert rose to become an object used in the act of courting, it was no surprise that Bakir Afanda was appointed chief confectioner to the Ottoman court. In the 19th century, Lokum made its way to the West via a British traveler who took quite the liking to the confection and brought cases of what he called Turkish delight to Britain. Bakira Fonda, whose watercolor painting by Maltese artist Amadeo Preziosi hangs in the Louvre, became Hak Bakir after going on a pilgrimage to Mecca and Medina and received a Medal of Honor from Mahmud II. After his death at the age of 90, his son Mehmet Muhyiddin took over the shop and his father's title, going on to win medals for its participation in international competitions. When the company was taken over by Ali Muhyiddin it continued enjoying a golden era, increasing in size to 10 shops that included two branches in Egypt. After Ali Muhyiddin's death in 1974, the family's fifth generation continued to run the company Ali Muhyiddin Hakbikir. Turkish delight is made from a sugar syrup and starch milk mixture that is cooked for five to six hours, at which point the flavor is added. The mixture is then poured into large wooden trays to be set and about five hours later they are rolled, cut and dusted with icing. What are Turkish delight types? The world famous Turkish delight has varieties with many different flavors. The factors that provide this diversity are the fact that Turkish delights are blended with nuts or other different foods, resulting in creative flavors. Regardless of taste, there is a kind of Turkish delight that almost everyone can enjoy. In this way, there are different types of Turkish delight that can go with most types of treats. Lokum has more than 24 different flavors, including rose, mastic, plain, mint and coffee, as well as fillings such as walnuts, pistachio and hazelnut. In the city of Afyon, a special kind of lokum is made with a layer of clotted cream from water buffalo milk in between the sweet layers and covered in coconut shavings. Commonly known types of Turkish delight are Bird delight Chocolate delight with hazelnut chips Kadeyaf chocolate delight Chocolate delight with pistachio Rose petal Turkish delight Chocolate delight Varieties such as Sultan's delight with coconut chocolate are very popular and preferred among Turkish people. On the other hand, there are also varieties of Turkish delight that have come to the fore from the Ottoman period to the present day. Worthy of Sultan's, Sultan Delight Sultan Turkish Delight is a flavor that has been around since Ottoman times. Although the Sultan's Delight with Pistachio was a type of Turkish delight found suitable for the taste of the dynasty in its time, it played an important role especially in the dessert consumption of the dynasty. It was frequently preferred during important visits to the Sultan, religious ceremonies, national holidays, and days that were important for the dynasty. This is the reason why this type of Turkish delight is also known as Sultan's Delight. The Sultan's Delight with Coconut Chocolate, which was generally consumed alongside sherbets unique to the Ottoman Empire, was made by the master chefs of the palace. 
At the same time, there are varieties of Sultan Delight with coconut chocolate, coconut hazelnut cream, pistachio milk, double roasted pistachio, and pistachio palace delight. Bird Delight Fruity Birds Delight, which is one of the most favorite types of Turkish delight, especially by children, increases its attractiveness thanks to its different colors. Thanks to its small size, it is usually consumed alongside treats. Also, Fruity Birds Delight, which leaves a very pleasant taste while drinking tea and coffee, leaves a light taste in the mouth even if it is eaten a lot. It is perfect for creating a variety of treats on holidays and special days. Nutritional Values and Calories of Turkish Delight Due to the variety of nutrients in Turkish Delight, its nutritional values and calories are in different proportions. Briefly, there are 32 calories in a plain Turkish Delight, 63 calories in Pistachio Turkish Delight, 33 in Rose Turkish Delight, 50 in Chocolate Turkish Delight, and 38 calories in Hazelnut Turkish Delight. Did you crave Turkish Delight?